Jim Harbaugh has signed a new contract extension, and I think all of us expected this coming out of this past season. You know, there was all the talk about the NFL, but then there was a lot of talk about is he using this to maybe get some more money out of Michigan. And I got to tell you, it wasn't crazy. Uh, the contract extension pays about uh, $6.7 million a year, somewhere around there. It's for five years. The thing that surprised me, Chris, is the buyout is essentially nothing. From what's being reported right now, all the details that have come out, uh, the buyout starts in his first year at only $3 million. And then it's $2.25 million after year two, $1.5 million after year three, then it's seven hundred fifty thousand after year four and zero in year five. I mean, it yeah. like this is kind of insane. I, I thought he would have gotten a little more stability, uh, but this is the kind of contract that you and I thought would be best for the universities. This seems to work out better. Just make it incredibly incentive laden. Uh, this adds another uh, two point seven roundabout million dollars per year to his deal. I, I think it's pretty good for both parties, but really the winner in this seems to be Michigan, right? No, and that's, and that's what I've said all along. Jim Jim made it abundantly clear last year when he reworked his deal that he is not in this for the money. He has made a ton of money in the NFL. He made a ton of money with his first couple of years at Michigan. He believes in his heart of hearts that college um, uh, coaches – should not be paid like NFL coaches. He thinks that this is a different type of deal, and he was willing to take less money. Everyone said, oh, no, that's until he made the playoffs. And now he's going to renegotiate. He's going to want his tone. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's a simple man. And and buyout-wise, A, Jim's not leaving for another college, okay? And this yeah. college isn't going to – they're not going to fire him. If, if they talked to him after a bad season and asked him to walk away, he'd walk away. Like, he truly wants to do what's best for Michigan. He might be the only coach out there working right now that is truly not um, just a mercenary. Like, like Brian Kelly is a complete mercenary. Nick Saban is just a mercenary. He's not an Alabama guy. He, this, this is not his home. He doesn't care anything about that state. Lane Kiffin's a mercenary. Okay? Jim Harbaugh's there because he wants to be. Not because he can't be anywhere else. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, we found this year that uh, his NFL stock might not be as high right now. Uh, but you give him one more good season, I mean, it, there's no telling. The NFL could come calling at any point for a proven Super Bowl, you know, not winning, but Super Bowl-making coach. Like, yeah. he's, he was great in the NFL. So he can certainly be called up at any point. Uh, the buyout stuff was interesting to me. But uh, but maybe that was only because the way that his deal was reworked last year, and that that part kind of surprised me that they wouldn't just stick with him and and it was a eh we want to keep you but we're paying you too much money for you to not be uh you know a national title winning quarterback uh, make it to the playoff every year kind of uh, kind of coach so I'm you know that's the only thing that was surprising here but uh but the deal I think is pretty good on both sides you know Jim's a well-respected head coach making pretty good money. Um, you know, and, and like you said, it's not about the money for him, but this is a sign of respect and and maybe a little bit of a thank you, right? That's what I think. I think so as well. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.